one it's things fire 12 coming at you with another unboxing op opening of uh then then Yu-Gi-Oh cards no i didn't just stop the stream a moment ago you're all tripping that was just like that's just uh what you call it the mandela effect it didn't happen anyways here we go we're gonna do the the hidden arsenal chapter one no i didn't just open this box off screen it's i don't know what you're talking about let's fight about it anyways um today i'm gonna have the the original gang minus avidol because they haven't made him in nendroid yet and iggy because well iggy's ugly with his human eyeballs and they haven't made old man joseph in nendroid so i replaced him with younger joseph from the season that no one really likes but i liked it so here you go I have him. And yes, I have Kakuin and Jostro holding hands and him doing the la 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 little face. Want to fight about it? Tell me in the comments. Tell me in the comment. I don't care. Do, do something. Tell me about it. Anyhow, here we go. Oh my god, I, I, I opened the Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1 box. It's, it's so opening. And then I got, we got for the limited edition card, Formula Synchron from the from the season of 5Ds used by the the duelist Yusei Fudo. Very nice, very nice. I believe the you could cheese out like Stardust... What is it? Shooting Stardust Dragon with this if you have Stardust Dragon on the field already and it's your opponent's turn, you can mess up their plays by, you know. Uh, you could Synchro Summon during your, uh, your opponent's turn. Yeah, once per chain. Yeah, you could you could like mess up their plays and stuff. Anyhow, and let me just put on the music. Sorry about that. Give us something to listen to. Anyhow, and as we all, if y'all don't remember, in the oh yeah, and then um the the dice the dice that we got from this one is the Cosmo B or the Nutria Beat Shooter or whatever. It's this cute little thing. And the Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1 comes with two packs of 18, so here we go! Let's see what we get. Let's crack this open. Let's see what we got. Oh my god, there's a little scuff right here? That's not good to see. Okay, anyways. We got General Gantala of the Ice Barrier. Berserker Crush. Oh, yeah, it was Nutria Cosmo B. I, I wasn't just saying words out of my mouth. And then we got the Fable Nozuchi. Nutria Olandois. Karibo, the original Furry Balls. Defender of the Ice Bear. Goryo Guardian. Nutria Spider Fan. Ooh, okay, we got a, I got what it was called, a dual terminal rarity mystical space typhoon. It, target one spell or trap on the field, destroy that target. Okay, fellas, this d destroys a target, it doesn't negate. Don't be a noob, doesn't negate. Don't just, don't do it. It's good still though, in certain situations. And then we got, uh, dual terminal rarity Nocturia cherries. Oh, okay, we got the cherries. Hmm. Kakuin likes cherries. And then we got a Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. In dual rarity, tu dual terminal rarity. Hello there, and welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy. Right now, I'm just barely opening the first pack of um, Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1. It's what in the hell this thing has like oh what what is this it's like stickiness on this card oh that's that's just garbage they gave me stickiness on this card and i literally just opened it like what the hell um and uh, what was this uh, yes the strategist of the ice berry yeah this that's kind of lame this card was like sticky it's kind of why is it sticky? That's gross. Anyways, I'm just gonna put that over here so I can get its grossness all over everything else. Then we got Nocturia White Oak. Also, I'm doing just fine, except for that card being sticky. I was doing pretty fine before that. Ew, it's like all over my thumbs. Ew. Anyways, how you doing? How you doing? Nocturia White Oak. We got Blizzard Warrior. Mist Valley Falcon. 
We got Dragoonity Partisan. Fabled Valkyries. Uh, it's good to hear. It's good to hear. Do anything interesting today? Personally, I've done nothing interesting today. Except for what I'm doing right now. But yeah, it's, why is that card sticking? I'm going to be bothered by that all day now. My lockdown is that... Are you talking about, like, Mystic Mind? Sky Strikers? Oh my god. Those, those cards bother me so bad. They're very cute and adorable, though. Okay, it's on our next pack. Mystic Mind doesn't, like, ruin... Yeah, Mystic Mind lock. I always felt like Mystic Mind actually stops Sky Strikers a lot. Is it, like, good synergy? Is that good synergy? I wouldn't really know about Sky Strikers too much. I personally play, like... Elemental Heroes, Toon Kingdom decks, and I have a Salaman Great deck, so I'm not too familiar on how Sky Strikers function. Uh, oh, they have good synergy. That's pretty good. Okay. Next pack, we got the Ally Justice Reverse Break. We got Ally of Justice Cycle Reader. Dragonity Dark Spear. Dragonity Primus Pelios. Maybe exceeds. The exceeds ones are probably not used. But I'm not sure. I only like ever encountered them on a master duel. And then we got Fable Topi. Uh, Spellbreaker of the Ice Barrier. Ally of Justice. Omni Weapon. Are you playing in like real life or on dual terminal? Or not dual terminal. What is it? Master duel. Oh, okay. We got. We got the dual terminal rarity of Card Trooper, an old school card used by, I think it was, what is his name? He had the Karibo hair. Oh, Dueling Nexus, that's still up and running? I could have sworn that stopped running like a, a year ago, but that's good to hear, it's still going. Uh, what is his name? Y not Yusei, it was uh, Jaden Yugi, yeah, Jaden Yugi in GX. Pretty sure he used the card trooper. Oh, what's this? Dragoonity Knight Barcha. We got Nocturia, Bamboo Shoot, and Dual Terminal Rarity. There should be one more, I believe. Oh, yes. We got Shock Troopers of the Ice Barrier. Ally of Justice Unlimited. Flame Veil Urikuyaza. Urikuesas. Yeah, how do you pronounce it? Flame Veil Magician. Dragoonity Corsica. Buster Blader. And that's all we got for. What you call it? Hidden Arson or Chapter 1. So here we go. First pack. Alright, first one. Here. Okay, what do we got? We got number C, Numeron Chaos Gate sent Sunya. Oh, by the way, Caliber, what? Oh, I don't think that works on Twitch. Yeah, I don't think so either. But um, what was I going to say? Um, Since you're here, we're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. I had asked my last viewer count here what they were playing, and they were saying Sky Strikers. What Yu-Gi-Oh deck do you run? And as you telling me i'll go ahead and continue this numeron c chaos against sunya we got the golden land forever okay we got weather painted rainbow super express bullet train invoked macaba shooting code talker You put three trigate good. Okay, so that's like their combo that you want to achieve for like um winning condition. Seems pretty simple enough. And then we got Cynet Mining. 
I say it seems simple enough, but it's probably not simple. Oh, <laughs> you summon all the things on their turn? That's that's cheesy. That's like some that's like Dragon Maid's amount of cheese right there. I freaking hate it when you're like, all right, it's your turn. And then you're like, really, it's our turn. It's our turn. Then we got Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. And summon a link monster that vanishes. Yeah, that's probably the meanest thing you could do. Do any of you use... Oh, speaking of prank kids. We got prank kids Bow Wow Bark. Oracle Azephra. That's pretty. Oh, okay. I, I think this is actually... Is Ax Co A Access Code Talker. Is this, is this the card that I'm thinking of that's really good? Or am I thinking of a different one? What the hell is this effect? Let's see. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this card's effect. Activations. If this card is Link Summon, you could target one Link monster that ha that was used as a material for its Link Summon. This card gains attack equal to that monster's Link rating times 1000. You can banish one Link monster from your hand or GY. Destroy one card your opponent controls. Also, for the rest of this turn, you cannot banish monsters the same attribute to activate this effect of Access Code Talker. Thank you guys for being here for this unveiling. I'm actually kind of, I'm, I'm happy. I would have, like, waited until the whole thing was over to figure out this was actually a good card. Hey, love. I pulled a good one. Oh, you're watching? Okay. No, ignore that. It's just my boyfriend's in the background playing Animal Crossing. I just wanted to let him know, but he's actually watching, so he... Yeah, I'm being redundant. I'll put this right here. All right, Access Code Talker. Okay, let's see. What do we got? What's this next one? Familiar Possessed, the Lina. Why the fuck is she doing that face? She's doing, like, that anime girl face. Okay, she's kind of cute, I guess. She's pretty. What is her effect? Oh, she's like one of the Charmer girls. Okay, but it's, she takes away light monsters. Okay, so you could use this against like um, a Blue Eyes or something. Are there any good light attribute monsters nowadays that people use other than like Herald of Ultimateness? Can't think of anything like you would want to use that card against because everyone primarily uses like dark attribute monsters nowadays okay anyways five brain veta yeah and then we got giant rex all right so we're doing pretty good here we're doing pretty goddamn good i pulled access code talker on the second pack let's see if i could get the golden lord though i've been like ugh, i've been like simping over the golden lord i want that fucking card man Also, let me know, you guys, if you want the music a little bit higher, or if it's just right. I just started adding music to my, my stream, so sometimes people are like, it's not loud enough. Sometimes people are like, it's just loud enough. But let me know if I could adjust it for you guys. I would have no problems with that. Here we go. We got the Phantom Knights of Ancient Cloak. Alter Geist Merlusik. Got another Prank Kids Meow. Oh, wait, not another one. It just has the same the dog on it. We got Prank Kids Meow Meow Mew. <laughs> Send the access code for free? <laughs> Toby, I, I literally just pulled it. I, I, I Maybe if I was like a bigger like Yu-Gi-Oh streamer, like Twitch person, I would. I would. I really would if I was, like, more famous and I could just get Konami to send me shit for free, but I'm not. I'm, like, a sim- I'm a simple duelist. A simple, poor duelist. <laughs> I'm sorry. I could- I, I, I could send you an MST. You want MST? <laughs> Anyhow. Oh my freaking Jesus. Yes, we got an Akiza monster from 5Ds. We got the Black Rose Dragon. Alternative artwork. Uh, 
alternative are oh, that was so pretty oh what you look at this speaking of the devil we got the sky striker ace ray do i have her in gold rarity yet i wonder i wonder if i do i'll have to check later <laughs> we got iria the water charmer gentle she has a gentle face so i can imagine and we got raid raptor ultimate falcon Anyhow, Eld Elixir of White Destiny. We got Micro Coder. Mystic Mine Exodia deck. Okay, now that's all we got. Gold Rarity Danger Nessie. Scrap Dragon. Wait, what? There was only one Gold Rarity right here? Okay, here it is, the other one. We got Scrap Chimera. Uh, no need for the explanation, it sucks. <laughs> Scrap Chimera. Gold rarity. It's only a four. What the hell does this thing do? Four star. It cannot be used for synchro materials. So you gotta use this for exceeds. Except for the synchro. So okay, you can use it for synchro. For the synchro of a scrap monster and all other materials must be scrap monsters. It got to be scraps. When this card is normal summon, you can target one scrap tuner in your graveyard. Special summon that target. Okay, so this just helps you get out a scrap synchro monster. All right, we got 24, 24 packs, five cards per pack. Let's go. We got five star twilight. Cypher Interfe Interference and Zector Exa Beetle Ice Barrier Double Exposure Yeah, they were technically real because of the hard light system, right? Dude, Arc 5 or uh, yeah, it's Arc 5. Arc 5 was such a roller coaster of like emotions for me. Like, I really liked Yuma, but at the same time, he was annoying. But I was just like, dude, when he turned into Zork. I was just like, fuck, that's, that's fucking pretty badass. Dirty business? <laughs> what, what type of dirty business are you talking about? Like, eh? like offing them dirty business? Or like, la 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 dirty business? We got White Mirror. Left Hand Shark. The Yuri Gang. Oh god. <laughs> Cypher Interference. Silent Sea Nettle. The D Force. Oh, like sus business. Uh <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, there was there could have been a lot of sussy business going on in, in Arc 5, honestly. I imagine there would be a meme on D-Force. It's D-Force, man. I mean, you could do like a D's nuts joke. You could do so many jokes with that. Horse of the Floral Knights. The Deal of Destiny. Allure of Darkness. I act I I can't I don't know how to do his voice, but yeah, I acted I activate that force. I don't know if I'm am I allowed to say dick on, on, on Twitch? Am I allowed to say that? Am I allowed to say dick on Twitch? Okay, well yeah, the dick force. <laughs> oh, okay. Alter Geist Memory Grant. I haven't pulled this one yet. Pretty pretty. It's got that. It must be a secret rarity. I think that's a secret rarity. Oh god damn. Someone going crazy outside. Link 4. Alter Geist Memory Grant. Try to put this in there. There you go. Put that beast. We got 
furry balls. Dr. D. Detonate. Wing requital. Since we'll be talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! like the series, which one is your guys' favorite arc? Mine has to be a tie between 5Ds and, and um, what is it? The one where Playmaker comes into the scene. I think the most latest series. Unless they came out with some new ones, I can't recall. But yeah, 5Ds and Vrains are my favorite out of like the whole bunch of uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. We got Resurgum Exceeds. Starry Knight, Starry Dragon. <laughs> Apple Appliance or Conversion. Starlight Road. Ice Barrier. Yeah, I was talking about the anime. I mean, if you want to tell me your favorite card, that's cool too. I think my favorite card out of all of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards would have to be... Um, Toon Kingdom, Toon Kingdom, and uh, what, oh, fuck, totally awesome. Those two cards are my absolute favorite. I love Pegasus's deck. GX and Zexel, okay, okay, oh, okay, a Zexel liker, okay, Zexel was a little too much for me personally. I felt like they were trying too hard to be like Yugi and Yami, or Atim if you want, but Zexel was I. Yahweh, Yo, Yui. Yowie. We got the Zexel Field. Thought Ruler Archfiend. Hidden Fangs of Revenge. Yeah, I'll admit. That card does make me kind of angry, low key. But like, if we're gonna talk about cards that make me angry, it's just show me any dragon made card, and I'll fucking I, I will want to spit on you and be like, bitch, play something else. Number thirty nine, Utopia, Cipher Biplane. I <laughs> call it degenerate. My favorite card art slash lower card is the Tri Brigades. Okay. It's cool. I'll have to look up Tri Brigades. I can't like, I can't visualize any of them off the top of my head. Next one, we got Eidos, the Underworld Squire. He lost friends from playing Mystic Mine. <laughs> hey, it, it happens. It happens. Sometimes you gotta fight cancerous decks, though. With cancer, it's the only way. We got Hidden Fangs of Revenge. Rake Up Magic Ancient Chaos Force. We got Gandala, the Mystic... The Mystery Dust Kaiju. Number 99, Utopia Dragnar. Yeah, no joke. It, yeah, it is no joke. It's either sometimes you play cancerous decks or you play fun decks and then you don't have any fun because everyone's like, <laughs> I guess I'm just going to activate a bazillion things and have a full board of like Omni negates. And you're just like, bro, don't you just want to like set one? Do you, don't you just want to do a, a, a T tea, a tea and then pass? Like, please, can I have a turn, please? Please, can I have a turn? And they're like, no, you can't have a turn. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why I play Paleo Toes. It's not the most cancerous, but yeah, it's still pretty cancer. Shooting Star Dragon. Gala Wind, my my boyfriend, who's watching me as well, he likes to play what you call them. So, um, what are they called? Uh, what are they called? They use Necro Valley. Um, what are those cards that use Necro Valley? Oh my God, they're such they're such an old school archetype, and they're like the Grave Keepers. There you go. He likes using Grave Keepers, and he likes making his Grave Keeper spiritualist just super huge in number, and then he just like 
bodies for win. Yeah, the gravekeepers. While the curse and call me bad words. <laughs> While I say that your mom told me to get off of the computer at 8 o'clock. I have created a new house rule. <laughs> okay, I played Mystic Mine in past. You're just like, um, you have a monster on field, Mystic Mine. Void Feast. Another Furry Balls. Another Dr. D. Wing Recriddle. Okay, I feel like this was one of the same fucking packs that I just opened, but whatever. We got Ida, the Heavenly Squire. Thought Ruler Archfiend. Karibu. Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal. Perform a power Kari Bible. Why is it you? Also, if you guys like this footage, if you go into my about page, you can look at all of my um my old unboxings via my YouTube link. Nah, that's totally up to you. I honestly don't care if you do or you don't. If you just like this sort of this sort of like unboxing experience, I do have more if that's what you're into. I also do a lot of FNAF stuff and I've been trying to get into um Elden Ring, but I just I've just been kind of scared to because I'm a noob and I don't want to have to deal with that heartache right now. But yeah, if you guys are interested in this sort of stuff, I would like I would I would personally enjoy it if you went and looked at my other shit. But again, I am but a lowly noob, you don't have to. Here we go. Wind up Arsenal Zen Maho. Rank up Magic Ancient Chaos Force. We got another Mystery Dust Kaiju. Draw your last pathetic card, duelist. <laughs> Activates Mystic Mine, leaves game, just fucking full on surrenders. Centaur Mina. Okay, we got Detonate. Eidos, the Underworld Squire. Hidden Fangs of Revenge. Rank up Magic Ancient Chaos. Or Ancient... Uh, wait, what is that? Rank up Magic Argent Chaos Force. Wexox? Wick Wickox? Wicos? I never heard of it. Also, I can't pronounce words. Alter Geist Vija, Vija Alert. If you want. Furry Balls. The Deal of Destiny. Void Feast. Detonate. Oh, it's Recross. Yeah, like I said, I don't know how to perform. I don't know how to fucking say words. Perform a Palkar Rebible. Impermanence? Aren't those hella expensive? Do you really want to send me two impermanence? I mean, if you want to trade like that, I don't mind. But, like, aren't those expensive? Or have they been, like... Or have they been reprinted so much that they're not expensive anymore? There isn't really spells in that game, but most of the spell-like abilities come from your team. Okay. So, uh, they're, like, card effects similar to, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Rather than like spells, we have appliancer prop pylon. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I like I don't really know. I mean, yeah, you could send me two like commons of like impermanence. I don't have any 
in any reprint or regular, so I guess that would be a fair deal. Curry Babylon. 20 bucks a pop, pretty sure. Yeah, you might want to just keep your permanences if they're like 20 bucks a pop. They're still that's still pretty expensive for a card. I mean, well, we can figure it out later, like I said. We got Shooting Star Dragon. That way everyone doesn't know the business. Allure of Darkness. Luralisk Bird Strike. We got Zui Seafood Wing. A downward magician. Summon Storm. Noble Knight's Spear Holder. Alter Geist Pekuri. Pekuri. We got Eidos, the Underworld Squire. Zexel Catapult. Ice Knight. Karibi. Speed Droid Scratch. Wait, did I just... Yeah, that was it. Five cards per pack. Right. Yeah, I have a Mystic Mine. I have Mystic Mine in um, Gold Rarity. I think I have... I want to say I have two of them. But I think I only have one. Not 100%. I'd have to go through my... like I have like three fucking binders. And I'd have to go through them and see. We got... Another Mothra. Karib... Kariba. Ice Knight. Appliancer Propulion. Dragon Roid. Ugh. The Roids. Roids are still garbage, right? Are the are are the Roid cards still garbage? The ones that what was his name? Cyrus? Sirius? That one guy from GX? Are these cards still garbage or have they gotten better? Cause I've noticed they have like somewhat newer support, but like why even bother? Resurgem exceeds. Numbers protection. Penguin sword. Fossil dig. I got dinosaur DNA in my blood. Z's utopic sage. I haven't seen this one. I wonder if this is any good. Oh my god, I just want a Nibiru. Come on, heart of the cards, give me a Nibiru. That's all I really want from this stupid pack anyways. Right hand shark. We got the Phantom Knights of Rugged Gloves. I, f I fighting spirit. Or fighting spirit? <laughs> Isn't that what that one guy from GX says, though? I'm just quoting him. The guy that has, like, obsessions with dinosaurs. I believe he was, like, Jaden's, like, bestie, basically. Starving Venomy Dragon. Yeah, he was the super dino user. Super Dino 2, Return of the Dinos? Zwei Zephyr Wing. Rugged Gloves. Wind Up Arsenal Zen Maiho. 
And I grab my cards this lady. Horse of Floral Knights. Belf Kagan Spawn. Kragan. We got Dollhouse. Zweiting Spirit. Hyper Rank Up Magic Utopia Force. Zexel Catapult. Ooh, okay, this one's pretty. Astral Karibo. I mean, you could try making it, what is it, a Trickstar deck. Trickstars were pretty meta for like a second, or like, a, let's see. I mean, Dark Magician and like Blue Eyes are still a thing if you really want to do like that route. But then like, if you do Dark Magician, then you have to shell out the money for Red Eyes Dragoon, which is probably still expensive. Dr. Deed. Soul Binding Gate. The Icebound God. I mean, if you don't know how to play, you could try, um, yeah, Tricks. Oh, you don't know how to play Trickstar? <laughs> Brick Eyes? Like I said, I mean, you can go that route, but like, yeah, if you if you play Blue Eyes White Dragon, you better expect to break every now and again. Really? It gets soloed by Strikers? Surprising. I thought it was untargetable, though, and undestroyable and all that shit. Dollhouse. Number 89, Diabolos the Mine Hacker. Really? It gets bodied by strikers? Like, really? Really? It's not as good as I thought, then. I mean, I heard it's easy to cheese out of the deck, though. <laughs> the dragon player cried. We got Astral Topia. Kaiju Capture Mission. I mean, you could always just Kaiju a Dragoon, too, I'm pretty sure. Because, like, you could Kaiju it. I'm pretty sure you could Nibiru. Wait, Nibiru? Would Nibiru work? Maybe in certain cases, Nibiru would work. Or you could, like, um, if they have, like, a full board, you could Wing Dragon or Raw the Bastard away. Sphere mode, ring dragon of all? Yeah, sphere mode. Sphere mode is what I'm thinking of. Red eyes fusion. Oh, what the hell? This card's ugly. Grandpa to meadow. Hideous. <laughs> Y'all remember when dragon was good? Yeah, that's why I mentioned it. We got number 39, Utopia. Soul Binding Gate. Kariba. The Icebound God. Ooh, fuck, boys. I just got a second fucking Forbidden Droplet. Fuck yeah. Fuck to the yes. Fucking Forbidden Droplet. God damn, these pools have been pretty fucking good today. Holy shit. I'll put this sucker in a fucking... Nope, that's the wrong way. Yeah, there. there we fucking go. Forbidden motherfucking droplet, boys and girls, or whatever you identify as. I'm not judging. Please, please don't. Please don't hate me. I don't, I don't know your, your guys' pronouns. All right, Accents Code Talker and a Droplet? 
Damn. What could be in this last one? Come on, Nibiru. I just want a Nibiru. Thanks for the droplet, but I just want Nibiru. The Deal of Destiny. Allure of Darkness. Right Hand Shark. Shooting Star Dra Is it Nibiru? Uh, nope. Peri is a map. Okay, I'm happy that I got another Forbidden Droplet, but I just want a Nibiru. I just want to pull one. I don't want to buy it. Feels so much better for the serotonin levels when you buy it. Or, I mean, when you pull it, not buy it. Ugh. My brain is so stupid sometimes. Alrighty, everyone. I'll go ahead and open this pack. We got Fire Opal Head. Ghost Trick Siren. Ghost Trick or Treat. Epsilon, the Magnet Warrior. We got Vampire Ghost. Okay, how the fuck is it a vampire and a ghost? <laughs> if you run, if you get into trouble, they'll pull out a strap and run your ass up? God damn. Sounds dangerous. But again, you guys, d tell me, does this sound redundant or like, am I just dumb? Like, how the fuck is a vampire, a ghost, and a vampire? Like, what? I, I don't get it. Oh my god, you're talking about the rats being like that? God damn, what is this, Zootopia? Well, I mean, yeah, like, I don't get it. It's a zombie and a vampire and a ghost. Like, am I dumb? Am I just not getting it? Am I too old for Yu-Gi-Oh now? Like, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I mean, can vampires be ghosts? Therefore, did the vampire die again and became a ghost? Or was the ghost already a vampire? Like, I don't know. Konami, please, please answer me so much from Konami. I need to know the mental, like, acrobats they went through. Submarried Tour Ride. Dynamorphia Shell. We got Monster Rebirth. Shining Peace Philia. Guild Brown Magician. Do you build all your decks out of boosters or do you buy singles too? When I did, I got, uh, one second. Dark, the Dark Charmer Gloomy. When I did play the game, like, in the physical world, I used to build my decks out of boosters when I could, but when I really got tired of searching for those high rarity cards, I did just go on to, like, TCG Player and buy them. So, I would say a little bit of both, but for the most part, I tried to pull them out of, like, boosters, or you know the boxes or whatever but like sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and you know buy the singles sometimes it's also just smarter buying singles so it kind of depends like when i played um when i was playing salamangrates back when salamangrates were like an actual good archetype um i actually bought half of those cards from tcg player and then i happened to already have the other like half from pulling them from boosters so really it all depends on the rarity and the like scarcity of the cards but if i really had to yeah i would just buy the singles but nowadays i just mainly play competitively on like any of the Yu-Gi-Oh like games or apps like master duel or um i was really into duel links for a second like i was really fucking into duel links and I would just play competitively on those. In real life, I'm actually a terrible duelist. And plus, I get really bad anxiety from, like, being around actual people unless they're hella chill. And for the most part, when you go to tournaments, they're not chill about it at all. So I try not to really do it physically. But I would like to say I play competitively on, like, the other formats. Triple D Headhunter. Dogmatica Macabre. Diplos. Dynamorphia Alert.
Okay, you play it in Discord groups. That's pretty chill. I can imagine that's pretty chill. But yeah, I'm like, I don't know, man. Some Yu-Gi-Oh players, they're just not chill when you go to, like, in real IRL, like, tournaments. They're just not chill about it. They, like, expect you to know everything that's going on. And I'm just like, dude, like, what are you doing? You're just placing cards and shuffling them around. I need to know what you're doing. And they're just like, bro, you're supposed to just already know. And I'm just like, bitch. Are you fucking kidding me? And then I would like call over the judges and be like, they're not explaining what they're doing. Like, how is this fair? And they're like, you don't know what they're doing? And I'm like, no. I paid like so much to be in this tournament. I want to know what my opponent's doing. And they're like, dude, there's a time limit on this shit. And I'm like, yeah, I understand that. They could like, they could give me a quick explanation to what the card does. Or like, let me read their cards. And they would be like, Hello, like, oh, you can't read my cards here. Just look at it. And I'm like, bitch, I can't see that. Can I just hold it for a second? I'm not going to run off with your fucking card. So I don't know. It just gave me too much anxiety to really play with actual people. So I, I enjoy um, online formats of Yu-Gi-Oh more so than in real life nowadays. It's, it's too much on me. It's too much on my, like, psyche. It's too much anxiety. And then I get, like... I, I'm the bad guy when I go to fucking tournaments because I'm asking for them to explain what they're doing for some reason. That makes me the bad guy, and that shit's just not cool. And then one time, I blatantly caught someone, like, cheating, and then when I called over the fucking judge, they basically had the judge in their pocket, so they allowed the cheating to happen. So I was just like, what? I want a refund. If you guys are just gonna let cheaters walk all over me because i'm in i'm the new guy on the block like i don't even want to be part of this tournament so there's that too yeah i would probably say you just got lucky and everyone at your shop was just super cool about it Yeah. Yeah, like, see, like, that shit happens. Sometimes either the judge is, like, their friend or some shit, or they're like, oh, I'll go have these on whatever the fuck the, the number one prize winning thing is with them. And it's just like, bitch, like, really? You have to pay off the judge to get your way? Like, dude, that's not how this game is supposed to be played. Like... In all of the anime of, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! at the end and the beginning, it's, like, fair play, fair duel or whatever. And it's just, like, bitch, did you not watch the anime? Are you just, like, some sort of neck beard that fucking likes to ruin the fun for people? Like, what the fuck? He summoned three DPE in one turn. Uh, DPE? What that? <laughs> um, clear New World. I know enough of my rant about cheaters and whatnot. Thank you for joining my TED Talk. Dinomorphia Brutes. Oh! De Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Yeah, I would be pretty fucking mad if someone summoned three of those suckers on turn one. That would be fucking mind, mind breaking and soul crushing. Um, Dimension Conjurer. Okay, we got another Dark. The Dark Charmer Gloomy. Wait, we got two of these suckers? Whatever, they're like four. They're like four bucks or something like that. That's cool. The Agent of Destruction Venus. Imprudent Intrusion. Are they that are they that game breaking? I honestly don't know what Dark Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer does, but I know he's, like, easy to cheese out with, like, I think it's not Future Fusion. It's, like, Hero Future Fusion or something like that. I can't remember. No, 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 no. 
Master Duel goes under OCG rules. Which is why you could play some of the cheesy cards that you can't play in TCG rules. They go by OCG for some reason. Also, hello to everyone who's joining. I'm sorry that we're almost done with this stream, but you're free to, you know, stick around for a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of taking my time with these last two packs so y'all can like have a little convo with, with, with the chat. Leaf place, pearly ice. Plus, I, if, you, if you guys want, I could like stick around and ask, you could ask me questions about whatnot. I don't mind. I, I, I ain't got nothing to do. I'm like, I like, I kind of like took a nap earlier, so I'm not like exactly too tired. Dinomorphia Sonic. Silver Vine Senri. Doll Mass Monster Bear Bear. Nordic Smith, Smith Evaldi. Yeah, I thought it was mainly mainly modeled the master dual batmos is mainly modeled on um ocg meta Orderatic serpent strike smoke mosquito mad hacker <laughs> hey i play totally awesome don't 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 bag on my toad he's fucking cute okay he's adorable and i will die for that toad Alrighty, fam this is our last pack let's see if what we can get oh yes i i play totally awesome yes i do if you want i have gameplay of it in my about page just go into it, click on my YouTube nonsense, and you can see like me playing totally awesome. Uh it's sometimes I do really good with it, and other times I, you know, I just get wrecked by like other meta players playing like fucking Herald of Ultimate bullshit. But you know, yeah, I, I play Paleo Toads. I do. I do. I do play. To I'm a. To I'm a frog player. Oh no, I play Paleo Frog. I love Paleo Frog. That shit is such cancer. But it's I feel like it's fair cancer. Like it's not overly overly powerful, but it's it's just in that right range of powerful to make me happy and not feel like I'm a total asshole. Right, Herald of Ultimate Bullshit. It's it's not ultimate perfection. It's ultimate bullshit. The card's fucking bullshit, you guys. Especially with the way they combo off with Dytrons and Cyber Angel Ben 10. It's just not fair. It's just really stupid. Yeah, you have to be like two steps ahead of the game with that shit. That's why I like uh, Paleo Frog. Because you got to like really think about it. You got to think about like... Okay, what can they possibly do and how should I counter it beforehand sort of deal? I love that aspect of the Paleo Frogs. Also, I have in my Paleo Frogs, I spiced it up with, um, what is it called? Waking the Dragons. So if they pop my back row improperly, I just get out, like, Nocturia Beast, fucking, not Brachion, and, um... It's that fusion of Brachion and the other one. I'll get that sucker out and I'll just stop all of their plays of, you know, magic and traps. Or if I'm feeling really mean, I, uh, waking the dragons right into, um, the last warrior and stop them from summoning, just summoning period. And they get really pissed off at that shit. Unless, you know, they have like a card that like stops it and then, you know, they continue to bullshit, but it's still annoying for them. Fire Opal Head. Ghost Trick Siren. Neroy the Dream Trader. Leaf Place Pilice. Ice Jade Creation King Fisher. Mar Submarine Tour. 
Dinomorphia Shell. Monster Rebirth. Thank you all for coming and joining me today. Um, stand by for more, you know, footage. I'll be back tomorrow with some video game coverage if y'all are interested. And this is me saying sayonara. Sphinx Fire out.